This even as there is a purported large melt of ice from Greenland. It turned around. The thermohaline circulation became stronger. Hmm. These facts are inconvenient only for the makers of an inconvenient truth. But who can forget the scenes where a 20-foot wall of water rolls across the world's coastal communities? In the book version, Gore says, if Greenland melted or broke up and slipped into the sea, or if half of Greenland and half of Antarctica melted or broke up and slipped into the sea, sea levels worldwide would increase by 18 to 20 feet. Reality check, how much ice is Greenland shedding? The actual loss of ice from Greenland is about 25 cubic miles per year. Now, if that seems like a lot, there are about 700,000 cubic miles of ice on Greenland. The loss rate is four tenths of 1% of its ice mass per century. I didn't say per year, I didn't say per decade, I said four tenths of 1% per century. That translates into how much sea level rise? If you take a look at the IPCC's latest volume, by the year 2100, they have two inches of sea level rise resulting from the loss of Greenland ice. Not two feet, not 20 feet, two inches. That's the consensus of scientists, okay? Whether or not we believe in consensus science, that's what they say. Gore says global warming could melt half of Greenland. Is that plausible? The United Nations projects that um, if we raise carbon dioxide to four times the background level, right now, that would be about 1,100 parts per million. Right now, we're at about 385 parts per million. And maintain that for 1,000 years, that Greenland would lose about half its ice in a millennium. Now, we don't have enough fossil fuel to maintain that concentration for 1,000 years. Gore also says half the ice sheet could break off because of moulins. For me, this was the scariest part of an inconvenient truth. Moulins are cracks that channel meltwater from the surface of the ice sheet to the bedrock below. By lubricating the bedrock, moulins could destabilize the ice sheet, Gore says. Well, a recent study in Science Magazine lays that fear to rest. A small meltwater lake poured down a moulin at a flow rate exceeding that of Niagara Falls. Yet, Science Magazine reports, quote, for all the lake's water dumped under the ice that day and all the water drained into new moulins in the following weeks, the ice sheet moved only an extra half meter near the drained lake. An extra half meter.